What's going on guys? Nirvana Live Reading. This is a All Apologies, which I think has like a Courtney Love intro or something like that. Is that right? And we're going to see the difference yet again of their ultra repetitive early stuff to their a little bit more interesting fleshed out stuff. All right, here we go. All Apologies. Let's do it, fam. They didn't do the corny, corny love intro, they didn't show it. So yeah, a bunch of lyrics are, and this is before that came out, is that right? All right, this performance is before it came out? Yeah, performed unreleased songs, Tourette's, All Apologies, and Dumb. Dumb is not next, it's the beginning of the encore, it's almost next, it's in two more. Yeah, so I don't know where they were at with the, I, I wonder if it was already, probably was already recorded. Um, actually, mm, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I wonder where they were at with this. Because In Utero didn't come out for another year. Just over a year. So maybe, you know, they obviously had this song. Maybe they were still working on it. Maybe he was still working on it. Because the lyrics are different. Right? Lyrics, the recording end up being different lyrically. Right? The music is there. Music and the parts are there. But the lyrics are different. So, but again, just the different sections just make it different than the previous song. It's just two sections, just repetition the whole time, right? Same thing with Negative Creep, just like the two sections. This section is just nothing but repetition. This section is just nothing but repetition. Again, they're using a lot of repetition, but the different sections make it more interesting. 
Cool. All right. Up next is Blue, which closes out the concert. This is also from Bleach. All right. We're going to check it out later. Thank you. 